And so I know getting married or dating in your 30s can be very difficult. It's a lot different than in your 20s. It's a lot difficult. It's like strange almost. It's, it's, it's different and it's like weird dating in your 30s. But you put your mind to it and you really focus and... Hello everyone, this is Beryl Ann. You can call me Ann for short. Welcome back to my channel. I really appreciate all of you. In this video, I'm going to discuss how I got married in my 30s, how I did it. Um, I know it happened fast, how I got the ring and everything. Um, a lot of you have been asking me, how did I do it? Um, what happened? Um, what's my secret? And so I decided to throw this video together and just share with you all how I did it. I really hope this video serves as a source of inspiration for those of you who are looking to get married in your 30s. So this video may be specifically for those looking to get married. Um, you're close to being 30 or you're in your 30s and you just need help, um, inspiration, tips, advice, um, the CISO and experience, whatever it may be. I just hope that um, this video helps you in some kind of way and I just hope it all works out for you and just know that God is with you in every step of the way. All right, so this is what I did. All right, so the first thing I did was let go of world views. I let go of listening to the TV, magazines, movies, celebrities, the media, and all that uh, stuff. The TV, movies, the media, celebrities tend to, or mainstream culture tends to dictate the value of marriage. And the world's way, mainstream culture's way of marriage is not the f correct way of marriage. I stopped learning it through the TV and through popular media and culture and started learning marriage God's way. And so marriage works best when God is at the center. And I began studying more about God's way of marriage since God did create marriage. Marriage is a gift. It's a blessing. So the first thing is to value marriage, like understand what marriage really is and how God created it as a gift. Number two, I started understanding more about commitment. Commitment nowadays is a begotten virtue. Commitment is not a strong value anymore. Um, it's like we're all being taught to bail out when something goes wrong with the other person or anything that deals with commitment. We tend to just think that if this doesn't work out, I have an escape plan. We talk to multiple people in case one person or that one person doesn't work out, we have others in the pool waiting for us. I stopped doing all that. I stopped focusing on my wants and my desires only and started understanding commitment because marriage is sacrifice. Um, it's a hundred percent commitment. It's a lifelong promise. And when you get to wear your white pretty dress down the aisle, what do you do? You say your vows, you make a promise in front of God, in front of your witnesses, with your spouse or your future about to be spouse, your promise. When we only just want what we want, um, we want that other person to fulfill our needs and our wants, it starts to suffer. Marriage is sacrifice. And I didn't really understand this value either until as I was um, getting courted, which I'll mention next, and then once I got married, I realized how much of a sacrifice it, it's, it's such a blessing. Number three, courtship. Courtship allows you to prepare for marriage. Now, I was courted when I met my then boyfriend, now husband. Courting basically prepares you for marriage. You start to learn more about each other. You're like-minded. You know what you want and you discuss the M word, which is marriage. Um, you don't have the fear of talking about marriage. So in my experience, dating have always felt random, 
Um, it always felt like there was no real commitment. Dating is more of like random. It's more of the world's way. And with courtship for the very first time, it felt more structured. It felt more morally correct. It felt like I was actually getting something done. So while courting or dating, if you're dating, not to say you cannot date, but if you are, you want to avoid situationships. These are huge time wasters. Don't get caught up in a situation that's just for fun or just, you know, the night out or getting something to eat or whatnot. You don't want to lead yourself into temptation as well. And so um, with situationships, I avoided those like the plague. Um, I don't, I just stopped caring about going out for pizza or chicken wings <laughs> and all that stuff. Uh, I just stopped caring and I really wanted to focus on someone who was like-minded that was also looking to get married as well. And with courtship, it allows you to value yourself, um, avoid those situationships, um, just hold it all in until you find your person that's willing to work with you, to learn about you, and to commit with you, and to have that same goal in mind, which is marriage as you. So don't take whatever comes along to just validate you. Um, you deserve to be courted. And a lot of people may say courtship is outdated, it's old fashioned. Um, even if it is old fashioned, it has been proven to work. And this practice has been proven to work for many, many, many centuries, many, many generations, um, you deserve to have a suitor <laughs> prepare you for marriage. And do more research on courtship. Number four, this is a very significant tip to Christ. When I became born again and I acknowledged how he died for our sins, he took the punishment. Born again is the realization of turning away from sin and repenting, returning away from those sins and accepting Christ as our savior and how God sent him as a sacrifice. And that we live in a fallen world, we live in a broken world. Mankind is born in sin. And so Jesus Christ was sent here to um, die for our sins. If you do a lot of research and research statistics, you will see that marriage is actually high in Christian communities. And that's because God created marriage. And so those uh, of you who are Christian, you of course may understand marriage is very important in the Bible and is taken very serious. When I became born again, it helped me immensely my life changed. I repented and my life transformed for the better. And literally a year later, I met my um, to be husband, like at that time. And of course, we married just back in October. So, literally, um, God had a plan for me. And even though I was stuck out in the world, I just didn't know. And so, they say God works uh, mysteriously, I say He works tremendously. And so, um, I know it takes the Holy Spirit to understand, but I'll look into it. And with that, it comes having a better ability to make better decisions and to understand morality a lot more. And so, it's helped me a lot. So, I have here my fifth and final tip. It's a little different, but I have here some scripture from the Bible that may help you understand more and to give you more of inspiration and motivation and encouragement um, by God to help you on your journey of getting married. Number one, I have Genesis 2.24. Therefore, a man shall leave his father and his mother and hold fast to his wife and they shall become one flesh. Uh, the second one I have is Proverbs 18.22. He who finds a wife finds a good thing and obtains favor from the Lord. Number three, this is a popular one. Most of us know it's um, in a lot of memes online and in stores and everywhere else, but it is 1 Corinthians 13, 4, 7. Love is patient, love is kind, love does not envy or boast. 
It is not arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice at wrongdoing, but rejoices with truth. Because the world may give us love, but it's not true love. True love comes from God. Last but not least, number four, I have Genesis 2.18. Then the Lord said, it is not good for the man to be alone. I will make a helper suitable for him. That's all I have. And so I really hope this video helps you on your journey of becoming a wife. Um, I send you lots of prayers. Um, I really hope it works out for you. And so I know getting married or dating in your 30s can be very difficult. It's a lot different than in your 20s. It's a lot difficult. It's like strange almost. It's, it's, it's different and it's like weird dating in your 30s. But if you put your mind to it and you really focus and you understand and acknowledge the value of marriage so thank you lovelies for listening and i'll see you guys in my next video until next time